Glenn, Jamie Carrillo told me that she broke her silence on Friday after watching a show about a young girl who was sexually abused. And that's when she Googled her former coach and then got the courage to call her. Carrillo says as a kid, the woman she once considered a mentor would threaten suicide if she told anyone about their relationship, a secret Jamie held on to for 15 years. It's always eaten me up inside. It's always in the back of my mind. A tearful Jamie Carrillo says she was just 12, a player on the Chamawa Middle School basketball team in Riverside, when she says her former coach, Andrea Cardoza, first molested her in the girls' locker room. She was kissing me, and then it turned into her putting her hands down my pants. The first of countless sexual encounters Jamie told us took place until she was about 20 years old. I was just a kid. Like, I just wanted a friend. I just wanted somebody to like me. And I guess I got it just not in the way that I wanted. Jamie says Cardoza showered her with attention, took her on out-of-town trips, and made her believe that she was the only one who really loved her. Everything was stolen from me. Like she just completely manipulated me into thinking that I needed her and that I wanted it. And, I mean, it just went on for so long that it just consumed me. Years went by before Jamie summoned the courage to confront her alleged abuser in this YouTube video that's now gone viral. Hi, is this Ms. Cardoza? Yeah. Jamie called Cardoza at Alhambra High School, where she was most recently working as an assistant principal. Do you realize that you brainwashed me and you manipulated me? And that what you did was wrong? Yeah. And I regret it. You should be so ashamed and so disgusted with yourself. I am. Jamie's attorney told reporters the Riverside School District may have dropped the ball years ago. There was an investigation when Jamie was 12, but he says it appears the coach was allowed to resign and continue her role as an educator, ending up at Alhambra High. That's typically called passing the trash. If that is in fact true, everyone would agree that's absolutely outrageous conduct. I want her to be in jail and to pay for what she's done. Jamie, now a mom with a toddler and a son approaching middle school age, still struggles with the scars of what she says happened. Her fiancé has been a huge help knowing the emotional toll it's had on her life. <laughs> That's the most thing that I struggle with now. And it hurts. <laughs> because I want to be intimate with him, but... It's just, I feel so ruined. <laughs> Tried to reach Ms. Cardoza for a comment, but have been unable to reach her. The Alhambra school principal was the first person Jamie sent that video to on Friday, and shortly after Cardoza resigned, the district sent a letter to parents saying that she is no longer an employee of the district and that the case has been turned over to investigators. Riverside police say there is an open investigation because that's where the alleged crimes first took place. Cardoza is not facing any criminal charges at this point. Glenn? Yeah, Sarah, on that subject uh, and one other, uh, is there a statute of limitations on this case? And with this video out here now and all the publicity like your report, uh, does uh, Jamie think there's other possible victims out there? Well, so far, at least one woman posted a comment under the YouTube video claiming Cardoza came on to her in the same way. And as far as the statute of limitation goes, there are two different arenas. There's the civil and there's the criminal. Her lawyer says the California statute is complex and confusing and that 10 years is not a hard and fast rule, that there are many factors that can influence whether or not a civil case can move forward or be criminally prosecuted. Glenn.